Hey everyone, this is Matt N3 VAN, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and calibrate your Nano VNA H as well as the H4 unit. And this is the H4, as you saw in a previous video that I did, uh, how to upgrade the firmware and get past that little tiny Microsoft Windows uh, driver issue. So hang on, I'll show you what all these components um, are for and how to set up as well as calibrate your Nano VNA H4. All right, guys, now that I got you zoomed in nicely on the Nano VNA H4, what we're going to do is go through the steps on how to set up and calibrate your Nano VNA. Uh, but first, one of the first steps you want to do is make sure you're on the right port. Now, we want to be on port 1 or S11, which is this top port right here. Now, I still have the cap on. We'll take that off when we do the calibration settings. But to confirm that we're still on that uh, correct um, channel, you want to tap the screen, oops, tapped it one too many times, and go to display, and check out what channel you are on, and I am on the correct one, which is S11 or Reflect. Now, if you tap that, come on, tap, there we go, it'll switch to S21. You can see that indicate up in the upper uh, left-hand corner, so we're going to go back and click on the S11 to get to the right channel. Uh, so the next step you want to do is actually change your start and stop frequencies. Currently it's set to 50 kilohertz all the way up to a huge 900 megahertz, which is way more, uh, way more uh, spectrum than we actually need. So you want to hit back, click on stimulus, and we want to select a start frequency. Now for me, I want to do 160 meters down to six meters and um, that might be a huge range for you you might only care about 80 meters or 40 meters or just a small portion of the ham band but for me i want to do 160 to six so i'm going to change that to 1.5 come on there we go megahertz and as you can see it changed down here start frequency 1.5 megahertz and what we want to do is do the stop frequency which will be probably, eh, let's just do 60 megahertz. Now you see there's gigahertz, megahertz, kilohertz. You can even check out antennas for your uh, wireless, um, wireless router in your home or business. But for today, we're just doing this for amateur radio. All right, let's click on 60 megahertz. Hey, there we go. It changed. All right, so it's starting to look better, but we got to clean this up. We don't need... Um, all this stuff like the phase, the Smith chart's nice, but I really want to just do SWR and log mag. Now you, you're probably just concerned about SWR and that is fine. A lot of people buy these just to be an SWR checker. So when you're out in the field, you can check to see your antenna or you're at a ham fest and want to make sure you have it optimized. So, but for me, I want to do uh, two of these. So I want to get uh, the S11, the yellow into SWR and the green to, um, to log mag for port one. So what you want to do is we're going to go back because this was with the stimulus. Go back, click on display, and those four things up here are actually stored in trace. So we click on trace, and hey, there they are. So I don't want, let's see, I don't want trace three, and you just double tap them. I do kind of, all right, we'll just get rid of those two. We'll, we'll have um, uh, yellow and blue. Now it's based on the colors you want. Now we're on trace zero. Um, now what you wanna do is, I want trace zero, which is already pre-selected. You see, I could select, oops. If I select it, the indicator goes to the left of the words, I guess 21 log mag, and it has a check mark here. So if I click on this, it moves it over here. So that's the one we're actually editing. So I want to switch the S20, uh, S11, the yellow, to SWR. So what you want to do is you go to, let's see, format. And I want to change it to, hey, SWR. Obviously, it's showing a high SWR because we have not calibrated this yet. Uh, and then we go back, go back to trace, because we have to switch over to um, the other trace, which is going to be... Um, and that M there is a marker. We're going to change that. So it's highlighted to trace one. Go back. Format. 
And we want this. It's actually already in log mag, but we're going to select it. As you can see, it dropped it down. Okay. Perfect. Now we go back here. Hey, look. Starting to look a little better. Obviously, nothing hooked on there. But before we actually start calibrating this, I would like to have the scale. Let's see. I'm going to do point two five. Let's see if it actually displays. Show grid values. Some of them, eh, we're going to have to go back. There we go. Show grid values. All right. So it's a little different. This is in the log mag. So it's going to be showing something that you're not familiar with. You're more familiar with SWR. So obviously we are selected into the S11 uh, log mag. So we're going to go back. Uh, let's see. No, we're actually in the display. So trace. We want to see SWR, which is above 5.13, but there we go. So the bottom line is going to be 1 SWR, 1.25, 1.5, 1.75, and 2. Now this, this will show you a range. Now you can change this to 0.5 increments, but I like 0.25 um, to change that as you saw before. Go on into display. And you go to scale and scale and division. We're not going to change that because I kind of like where it is um, and should be good on there. So now that we have everything configured the way you wanted it, you want SWR. Uh, that's mostly what people are going to be looking for. You don't need the uh, log mag on there, but you know, might be good to have if you want. I like it because basically the log mag will show you a little bit more information. It gives you the information on the measurements on the S11. Um, for the return loss and is measured in decibels obviously uh, but for the s21 port which we're not worrying about today it is also for insertion loss in decibels so now that we're all set up let's calibrate your nano vna h4 all right guys so now before we actually calibrate this you're probably wondering what was in that box what are these three uh, sma connectors for um, well the first one as you see, it has nothing in it. Let me see if I can bring it closer. There is no pin in there. And it's nice brass colored. And this is the actual open. So there is no pin, there's no short, nothing in there. And you really don't need to insert this onto the SMA connector because, hey, it's already open. But I still like to do that anyway. So that's the first one. Just remember, no pin in the center, that's open. And the one with the pin in the center is a short. So you can actually take your um, your uh, multimeter and put it in the center pin and then the outside shield and it'll show a connection because there is. There, it's completely shorted. There's no dialectic in the center. And that is for when you calibrate the short. And last but certainly not least is the load. And it's similar to the one with the short, but it has a pin and you can see a dialectic there. And it's actually silver in color. And the one I got actually has a little brass load on there. And that's a 50 ohm load right there. So what we're going to do is, now that I showed you these, let's uh, calibrate our Nano VNA. All right, everyone. So now that we uh, set it up to look exactly what we're looking for, has the SWR chart here. We're on SWR. I want a log mag for me. Uh, let's begin the calibration process. Now to do this, uh, tap on the screen and go to calibrate. Click on calibrate and you have a wide variety. Now most people, if you're just doing SWR, only care about open, short, and load. And those are the ones I just went over for you. So. Uh, before you click on open, let's put on the uh, the open adapter. Now you don't want to over tighten this. That's a little pain in the butt to get these on. <laughs> so bear with me. There we go. Ah. Okay. You wanted a nice snug fit. For the open, it's not really necessary. So, all right, so we have the open connector right here, and we're going to select open. And you see it going across the bar. It's actually calibrating. And then once it shows checked, yours might actually show a color. I've seen some Nano VNAs actually highlighted in a color. This one, the Nano VNA H4 that I got, does not. All right, so now it's 
kind of grayed out for short. So it's expecting the short one. So let me unscrew this. There we go. Put this over here out of the way. And the short again is the one with the pin, but no dialectic there. Because the only difference between the short and the load is there's a dialectic. And as you can see while I'm putting this in here, it is acting, uh, getting some reading. So once it's on there, snug fit, click on short, see the bar go across the top, and it's calibrating. All right, perfect. And we remove this. And you want the last one, which is load. And as you could tell before, previously, the load has the dialectic in the center, has the pin, and it's actual silver in color, and it has a 50 ohm resistor on there. So we're gonna screw the load on. Nice and snug. And click on load. And we'll see it go across calibrating. Perfect. And uh, for most of you, you're done. You would actually click done and save the calibration, which I'll show you shortly. But for me, I wanna do the other steps for uh, isolation as well as through. Um, but with the isolation, you know, for that, if there is only one load, if you only have one of these loads, then you can leave the top port open and uh, just basically put the load on channel or port two. Uh, but for this, actually, I bought a second load on Amazon. As you can see, it is a little different. It's not the same, it has the 50 ohm resistor, different color, but remember it has the dialectic in the center, so it's not a short. You got the pin, the dialectic, and definitely, uh, let's see bit different than the other one so what we're gonna do is gonna put the load up here just like before into port one nice and snug but I'm also gonna put the other load down here it's a little bigger <laughs> harder to get on all right now you don't have to do this. I mean, most of you who are just doing SWR, but I wanna calibrate this a little further for my own purposes um, and possibly future videos. Uh, click on isolation, it's calibrating. Perfect. And the through. And if you can guess it, we're just running a cable all the way through. Let me move these out of the way, don't wanna get this one confused with the others, which is kind of hard. Came in a totally different pack. I'll put that back with its other friends. So what we're gonna do is put a through cable on there. Now some people like to use two of these. Um, for my purposes, not necessary. So we're just gonna go put one end up on port one. There we go. The other one down here on port 2 or S21. Great. And last but not least, as you can see, the through is grayed out. Click on that. It calibrates, calibrates. And it already tells you, hey, done. All right. Where do you want to save it to? So, you have a wide variety of options. You can actually save this to an SD card, which is nice, but if you pop that out or lose it while on the trail or doing um, you know, something else, let me actually unhook this, then, uh, then you lost your calibration. So there's a lot of empty slots on here. I did the firmware update. There was a lot less previously. Uh, so what I wanna do is choose slot number one. There we go. Calibration is saved. And in the next video, I'll probably be showing you um, testing out different antennas, but that is pretty much it for now. It's a very powerful tool once you set it up and calibrate it.
All right, guys, that's it. You've actually set up your Nano VNA and calibrated it so you can take this out to the field and test your antennas once they're set up for, hey, parks on the air or soda, as well as field day. So now you have a fully functional vector network analyzer that has been set up and calibrated. And now I know many of you are just going to be using this to check your antenna SWR and that is perfectly fine. It does a fantastic job now that it is set up and calibrated. But it also can be used to measure antenna and cable parameters such as SWR, cable loss, impedance and much more you can even use this nano at vna to test bandpass low pass and crystal filters and we can even use this as a spectrum scope and i may actually do that in future videos uh, basically about the other features but today that's what we did we just basically set this up so you can use this in the field and you are good to go so thank you very much everyone for watching and if you have any questions about your nano vna please put them in the comments i'll be glad to answer them to the best of my abilities and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you learned something and like what i'm creating uh, please consider subscribing. I'll be working on videos like I said before i try to do one a week sometimes life and family gets in the way so hey no worries. But thank you again. Thanks for watching and hope you have a wonderful day. 7-3. This is N3-VAN.